Welcome to Das Geek. Today we are doing a subscriber request. We are adding to our series on internet security that we did. Mike had a question, one of the first subscribers to this channel, about the use of Wanix and Tails. So this is going very deep down the rabbit's hole of security and therefore I created a pretty picture here to help demonstrate what the differences are between these. So first we have to kind of tell the story of what the family line or connections between these three products really are. And at the end of the day, when I talked in my first video about security, using the proper antivirus, using the proper uh, firewall, and having a VPN service, if you want that extra layer of security, the VPN service I recommended does cost, and I mentioned the video, some money. Uh, but in essence, what it's doing is taking your traffic and sending it through some remote servers in an attempt to keep your information more incognito, if you will. Now, there's another way you can do this for free, and that's downloading a Tor VPN browser. Now, what Tor is, is a browser similar to Chrome or Mozilla, but additionally, besides just kind of hopping to these volunteer servers that you see here, so as your computer sending internet traffic out, it's sending it through these other gateways, if you will, and then those gateways are routing that traffic to your destination, and the same thing goes in reverse through to the internet and back, as you can see here. But it's also encrypting that traffic as it's sending it, so it gets much more difficult for somebody to snoop and see what you're up to. Now, Tor is important to tell as a part of this story because these other two services, Wanix and Tails, have Tor built into them, and that's one of their main protection uh, capabilities for Internet usage is through Tor. But I'm going to start with Wanix here, and Wanix is really the complete operating system solution. So it's based on Debian Linux. And Debian is a very proven, secure server technology that a lot of businesses and consumers utilize for web servers or any other server application you can use. But Wanix takes it a step further by completely separating your workstation and your gateway into really two separate complete sections of your computer. And if you look at the graphic here, you'll see your workstation where your personal files and everything goes, where you may... Uh, be loading your programs for word processing, etc. And those are all encrypted. The encryption's built right into that, uh, keeping anyone who was trying to get into your computer that did not have your hash or password ability to read those files, view them, or do anything with those. Additionally, it locks down the software, and as you can see with the uh, circle with a line through it between your gateway and internet traffic section, it completely keeps those separate. So you know those uh, programs where it's like, hey, join our customer experience program and, and send us errors, and we're just going to collect very little information about you and send it out. So no program that does that can really exist or work within uh, Wanix because it's going to block those programs from ever getting to the Internet to begin with. And then you have your internet gateway, which really is where you do your chat sessions, forums, and things like that. Again, encrypted, again, utilizing Tor Browser, which is essentially taking your traffic, hopping it through these volunteer servers, individuals who have put their servers up so that you can hop through them and kind of encrypt your traffic uh, and keep your IP address and everything else better disguised. Uh, than you can through, say, going and using just a VPN service or using incognito mode, which is really a ridiculous comparison because if you're using incognito mode, the only thing that's going to save you from is your wife viewing what porn sites you visit or something like that. Outside of that, it's not going to be much help to you. So Wanix is your complete operating system solution, and then there's Tails. Now, Tails is kind of a temporary operating system solution in a way. 
It's temporary, but you can keep using it over and over again in that you install it on a portable media. So you, you would install Tails on a USB drive, on an SD card, even a DVD, and then you could run your internet through it, and it has no ability to connect any information back to your PC uh, and utilizes the same Tor service, but it's not an operating system that you typically would save files and personal folders and things on. That's not really what it's derived for. But if you're going to a public library, if you're in the news and you're trying to, uh, you have somebody who's giving you secret information uh, through chat or whatnot, this would be a great service to use because it's going to encrypt all of that. And um, any file or anything that's on there, nobody's, if they got access to, could see nothing because you're not saving any files or home folders or personal information through that session. S there is an optional encrypted uh, file save option where you can basically partition any free space that you have left on your media, which would be like a USB drive or an SD card. And then you can save certain files to that, and that's encrypted, which makes it a little more like Wanix. All right, so hopefully that helps to explain the relationship between Tor, Wanix, and Tails, and how they interact and how they provide a completely different service to one another. Tor, for all intents and purposes, is a browser. Wanix is really a complete operating system solution. Tails is, in best way I can describe it, is like a temporary operating system solution that you put on portable media, which makes it uh, a lot more fluent for applications like when you're in a public space or something along those lines where you're worried about your files uh, potentially being intercepted. I do want to mention that none of these services really provide any protection if you're doing something like um, torrents. Uh, none of these services are completely foolproof. Uh, there are hacks like middlemen, those volunteer servers that you're going to. You don't know who they are. You don't know if they've been compromised by the government or some hacking group or something else so that your traffic's feeding into their servers there. So there's really no perfect solution. But I will say if you're going to the extremes of security, you're wanting to really keep your files secure and you want to truly make sure nothing gets tapped into, then these might be some of the solutions you would use. Tor being the least extreme, Tails probably the second least extreme, and Wanix being, in my opinion, the most extreme version of trying to keep your files secure. And when I say extreme, I just mean in the level of effort you're putting forth, not extreme in the layers of technology, because between Tails and Wanix, they're really isn't one that's more secure than the other they kind of provide a different kind of solution if that makes sense for each other um, as far as installing these services you'll see the videos where uh, playing in the background where Tor is installing first then we install Tails and then we install uh, Wanix uh, what you're gonna see is Tor is just a browser download so it's as simple as downloading Chrome, Mozilla or anything else uh, there's a lot of different configurations and things. I think the big key is, and with any of these services, since they all use Tor as their internet, um, that you do not install plugins, Flash, and all of that stuff that creates vulnerabilities within the security that you would typically be trying to get with these services. The next thing is with Tails and its installation, uh, it's as simple as, at least if you're doing it on a virtual machine, but it's just that simple also on a USB drive or anything else. Uh, but when you're doing it on a virtual machine, you're essentially just gonna install it like we did Ubuntu in one of my other videos. Uh, if you look at one of my videos for uh, Oracle virtual uh, machine, that will show you how to install Ubuntu in that case, but the same procedure, move Ubuntu out, uh, put the ISO file for Tails in that its place, and then in your options, you're just going to choose Linux and 32-bit, and that's going to install Tails. Uh, you could also use PenDrive and install it right to a USB if you wanted to try it that way. So that's how easy Tails is. Uh, Wanix is a little more involved because, remember, you have two parts. You're installing both a workstation and you're installing a gateway. So from a Wanix perspective, you're going to... Uh, have to install if you're doing it on a virtual machine 
uh, both of their files under the appliances section uh, which you'll see here when we get to the Wanix installation of uh, in the background video of how that's done so you're just you install one appliance at a time uh, and then you run both services simultaneously and you're up and running I will tell you that both Tor, Wanix, and Tails um, were all fairly slow uh, with internet traffic. You're not getting a super speedy response, nor should you expect one. Um, torrenting and things like that on these services is very frowned upon and usually blocked um, because of the fact that you're using somebody else's server to send your traffic through and it's just creating a giant bottleneck and it's not what it was meant for. So, um, and, and torrenting, by the way, to get Tails and other things, you have to torrent to get it because it's the fastest way to download files. And I know people have issues with torrenting because they think, oh, if you're torrenting, then you must be pirating. And that's not the case at all. Torrents have many applications outside of pirating, downloading legit software, very fast or open source software. We don't have to worry about all these sites that try to add, put ads and viruses and everything else on what's supposed to be open source software because they try to make their site look like they're the official location. Location, whereas you can go on a torrent and generally get a very trusted file very quickly. So, um, but do not use those with these uh, services here. Uh, really, this is meant to uh, encrypt and protect your uh, chat communications, forum communications, keep companies from grabbing your data, keep the FBI, government, all that stuff from snooping your data. But I will tell you, my personal opinion is when you're using services like this, there's a big potential that you're going to become a bigger target. Now, should that be why you that something that sways you away from using them? Not at all, because we really shouldn't have to be worrying about this stuff in a free country. But with that being said, I think that if you're using something like Wanix and Tails and Tor browsing, that it may get the government's curiosity faster about what you're doing than if you didn't. Uh, and you're using something maybe as simple as a VPN. Additionally, your ISP is always going to know what you're doing. They're going to know you're using Tor Browser. They're going to know you're using Wanix. They're going to know you're using Tails. They're going to know you're on a VPN. You can't hide any of that stuff from them. So you're not really protecting yourself entirely with this stuff. To me, all of these solutions are far more trouble personally than I think they're worth. But then again, I'm not doing any communications. Like if I was in news and I had somebody who was giving me information that I wanted to keep anonymous, I might use something like this. Uh, if I was uh, handling uh, documents for my business that were uh, that needed to that I needed to transfer. Uh, over or files or information on something that I was trying to keep secret from competitors, maybe I would use a service like this. Uh, for my personal everyday use, I just don't have a lot of applications that I could personally see going through the effort of applying these for. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This tells you all about the deep, dark bat cave of protecting your information here. You've got Tor, you've got Wanix, you've got Tails. One is not better than the other. They all serve their purpose. I hope you enjoyed this. Mike, I uh, hope you enjoyed this as well because this was a video that you requested. Leave your comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. If you have a different opinion, know more about these services because you've used them more, feel free to add that information below. I'm always looking to learn something new. I hope this filled you with some geeky goodness in your brains. Until next time.